many fourth graders don't look like math nerds, neither does Howard Baker. Four times a week, he teaches math at Cream Elementary, the same algebra you struggled with in high school. The difference is how he does it. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Baker. At the sight of the math teacher, the kids light up. Raise your hand and tell me how much 2 to the power of 5 is equal to. How much is 2 to the power of 5? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The project seed method involves every student continuously. They signal their answers or questions through sign language designed to reinforce learning. It all seems to work. In the chair. Quantity 2 to the power of 5 times quantity 2 to the power of 3 equals. Jim, you knew. Before you were in Project Seed, when you took math, what did you think of math? Boring. Yes. Well, I liked math before I did Project C, but, but I wasn't very good at it. I like Project C better, better than I like math because before, math used to be like a big blow-off. Okay, so far, is this easy? Yes! Like Howard Baker, every Project C teacher has a degree in math. Show me on your fingers. What is that training, combined with the boisterous teaching methods, can turn once apathetic pupils into hard-charging problem solvers. Alpha to the power, quantity, beta plus gamma. Uh, there's several teaching styles that are in use today. Uh, Project C uses a Socratic uh, discovery style of teaching. So what we do is we ask you to uh, provide a foundation for the students and we have them discover concepts on their own. So they t actually take ownership of the learning process themselves and we kind of just facilitate, you know, help guide them along. But, you know, in terms of uh, the difference, instead of students being told and lectured uh, what answers are, you know, correct, we have them figure it out and tell us. The difference is these are all mathematicians. They were mathematicians in, in college, and they just committed to come and work in the public schools in parts of the country. But these are trained mathematicians. Unique among instructional programs, Project Seed's impact has been documented by longitudinal studies and evaluations conducted in five different decades in districts across the country. It has been repeatedly cited as a benchmark program by government panels and authors studying equity in education. Its effectiveness is beyond question. There are no other programs that I know of that outperforms Project Seed in mathematics. It's, it's nationally recognized. It's, it's based on research and evidence. Um, it's based on best practices. Um, in this district, we have seen the results, and, and we're, we're excited about that. And, and when I analyze the math data for the district, um, I find myself mumbling under my breath, Project C, um, because I know the difference that that program has made. The first evaluation of Project C uh, produced significant results. Uh, we changed evaluators uh, and did another evaluation of Project C. It produced significant results. We then went into a long uh, longitudinal uh, evaluation of C with yet another uh, evaluator. And again, over the long haul, uh, we got very consistent results. Our third grade African American boys were first in the state two years ago in their mathematics I-STEP scores. And then last year, all third grade in Washington Township was first in the state. We've also checked how the students who go through the Project C program do compared to others on the mean test. I think Linda Lettig indicate they do better. They do better than the general population. Then negative M plus A equals negative C and negative M plus negative A equals negative F. Then negative, I mean, then A plus C equals M because if I split the C to M plus negative, negative A and bring the plus down, then bring the A down, bring the equals down, it equals to M because I will, these are additive inverses. All those scholars, please read it. Ready? Go. The summation of 2 to the power of negative y as y goes from 3 to 7 equals. That was
was a wonderful reading. Who can come to the board and work out using calculus how high the arrow will go if we shoot it up at 128 feet per second? First, we will find the um, antiderivative of negative 32 feet per second per second, which is negative 30, 32 t plus 128. The derivative with respect to t, 4t squared equals 8t. As the instantaneous speed is found by the limit of the average speed, limit is n approaches t, 11n squared. My fellow mathematicians, I think it is zero because if you take away the i sub plus and put, and put a zero, three times zero equals zero. Staff of Project Seed has come into our classroom. It's not just a make it, take it program where we have gone and received the professional development with Project Seed and been expected to come back to our learning community and apply it, but Project Seed has taught us then they have come right into our buildings and worked right alongside of the classroom teachers as well as the students to impact student learning. Uh, querying the students to get their responses so that they come to develop their own answers and come to their own conclusions, uh, that's a real art. And um, so I learned a great deal as a teacher in observing another teacher do that and then I found I was uh, better able to to use that myself. Now that I've been exposed to the way that Project C teaches math, I use a lot of the strategies in my classroom when I teach math. What I love about that is a lot of teachers seeing this then on their own make a difference for children the very next day and for the rest of the year by taking those same practices they watch and seeing that students can really meet the challenge. It's been really helpful in my classroom because I feel that all the kids get to participate. They have a voice in the classroom when they get to signal, agree, or disagree, or they're not sure. It also gives me a quick assessment as to how all the kids are doing. Um, and I've learned a ton of ways uh, to incorporate algebra into my lessons as well. Project C gives them the opportunity to prove to themselves and to improve their self-esteem and confidence in themselves that they can achieve almost anything that they want to achieve. Project C benefited me personally in that it introduced me to higher level math at an early age and it allowed me to be exposed to that math and not be afraid of it. I've seen a lot of good things come out of Project Seed with my students. Uh, the way that they teach involves all of the students. The instructors have a way of drawing the students in who don't normally participate and getting them excited about math. It's not usual for most sixth graders to study calculus and at this um, grade, and most students take calculus in 12th grade, but most take it in college and have trouble with it. But we are sixth graders and we are learning a lot about calculus and I really appreciate it. When I first came, it was kind of hard. Now that I know how to do it, I'll be helping my mother. It's just amazing to see how much the children can absorb. Without Project Seed, I would have never even considered uh, exposing them to the concepts that Project Seed exposed them to. And that by exposing them to higher mathematics, it enables them to understand the grade level mathematics that they're supposed to get. Full participation of every student, to me it's the model approach to teaching math. And I think it may have even far-reaching implications in terms of teaching other, other subjects. Now I feel more confident in myself. I don't doubt that I can't do anything. Now I believe that if I put my mind to it, I can do it. Anything. Anything. Come see our class. Come see our class.